has a skill called Resolve that boosts his strength, skill, and speed by about 10 each when he's under half health. For Marcy to be able to double him when he was in that state means her speed is at least 14 greater than the boss, which is just crazy. Yeah, man, her speed is intense, dude. Yeah, I remember the first time I saw Resolve was on that, uh, what's his name, like, Twernio or something? That general that joined me in the chapter where there was, like, the dragon boss. Yeah. Uh -oh. Ow. Ow. And... Ow. Yep, <laughs> so we're at 12 HP now. Not the best. Cuerno? Yeah, that guy. Go oh, have some HPs, my fellas. Can't just be sitting and not max HP. It's not good for you. Uh, speaking of that, I'll scooch to the side. Take that spot. I would love to have more HP. Thank you. Hey, what what are we doing over here, guys? What's going on? It's me, Jill. I like to attack people and stuff. Pow! Nice to meet you. I go up there. All right, Ike. Whose turn is it next? Got all these people in their ranged attacks. Sheesh. Yeah, I guess this guy. See you later, friend. Yeah, no, it would be cool if I could give some of my other characters resolve. That would be sweet. Yeah, I uh, haven't seen that option pop up. Uh, miss. And he's done. <laughs> Thanks for the fight, soldier. Go level up. HP. And not every level is going to be a good level. Why did he move right then back left again? No ways. There you go, Lucia. And Soren, you shouldn't be that low, buddy. Why do you hold him for 16? I thought it was like. I thought he always just hit for, uh. Or healed for 10. Nah, he's no winged vulnery. <laughs> he's literally the last dude. Oh right, yeah, I will finish him. There you go, Sovereign. Looking a lot better now. Yo, I swear to OP. Yeah, there we go, man. There we go. Another chapter down, man. I just might beat this game today. Just maybe. Like the later sk general skills better? Fair enough. I don't really know the skills. Is this a lot of them? It looked like there were more of them from down there. Uh oh. Now we've got you. Eat rock. Heh. <laughs> Eat rock. I'm pretty clever. Eek. A boss. Look out. That's a bird. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Yeah, that's a hawking, isn't it? You need a hand? To barn, you came. Well met, Racin, and well met to the rest of you as well, warriors of Crimea. How did you come to be here? I thought I'd help you wipe out Dane. It's good news for us, but something happened. Why did you suddenly decide to help? I asked for his aid. We must defeat King Dane. That end, the more powerful we are, the better, yes? That's the story, is it? It's true that Racin requested my aid. However, that's not the only reason that I'm here. Hmm? What is it? In a moment. First, let us meet with the King of Lions. He waits for us at the foot of the mountain. Understood. Come on, everyone. Get off this peak and take a rest at the bottom.
29, I just cleared 25. Don't try it, man. So close. So close. King Kanegus, it's an honor to see you again. First, let me offer you my congratulations. You made quite the triumphant return, Princess Alencia. Thank you. Allow me to express my gratitude for having the Kingdom of Gallia fighting at our side. Your presence fills me with strength. During this short interval, you managed to turn the tide of the war. To be honest, I'm quite surprised. I didn't, I didn't come this far on my own. My Lord Ike and his brave companions were with me. It was only with the support of many that I was able to return home. Yes, the reports cover most of that. The thing that happened in Begnion and Dane as well. And to that, about Nasi... King Galic, Princess Crimea. I apologize for interrupting the festivities, but there's something I must discuss with you. You gather over there. This group contains the people who were at the heart of the last battle, correct? Yes, it is. What about those two children? Surely they weren't involved. Children? Um... This is Soren. He's my tactician. This is my sister, Mist. Before we begin this war council, there's something I need to share with all of you. The story that involves my parents as well. I've kept most of it from my sister, but I felt this would be a good chance for her to hear it. I asked her to join us. Understood. Go on. It all begins when we met Princess Alencia and escorted her into the forest of Galia. And that is everything I know. Father, he... is that how... Mom? That's not true, is it? Miss, do you want to leave? Um, no, I'm alright. I'm alright. Just a little confused. That's the whole of it, eh? So this wasn't ever just a dispute between Creamy and Dave. There was something else at play the entire time. What could King Ashnard's ultimate goal possibly be? First, everything, even surrendering his own country. Twenty years ago, even before he became king, he tried to release the Dark God from within the medallion. However, he was thwarted by the actions of Grail and Alina. What manner of being is this Dark God? What would happen if it were freed from its prison? Here the world would once again be beset by natural calamity, much like it was 800 years ago. At that time, all the world, save Tellius, was drowned beneath the seas. That is a true story? I thought it nothing more than a fable. We have living proof. Uldoa's King Degincia. He and two other heroes fought alongside the goddess herself to defeat the Dark One. King Godoa was one of the legendary heroes, but he's still alive. The Black Dragon King is a living fossil, and as stubborn as anything alive. He's been trying to control the rest of us for years. He always says the same thing. Do not fan the flames of strife. As long as Loren's medallion exists, we must never begin a war that engulfs the entire continent. Never begin a war? It's possible. Perhaps there is more than one way for the Dark God to gain its freedom. Oh ho, aren't you the clever one? It's just what the Black Dragon King says, but the truth of that is unknown. War going on right now, but the Dark God's nowhere in sight, is it? Could it be... I think I may finally know Ashnard's intentions. Really? In Koldoa. King Goldoa said that a conflict which engulfs the entire continent would free the Dark God from the medallion. Let's assume that the war would have such an effect on the medallion, no matter where it was or who possessed it. Let's also assume that the King of Dayan thinks this as well. You can hear him now. Where is the tinder for the blaze I need? The answer to this question proved to be an easy one, but he had to find a way to test his theory. So he attacked neighboring Crimea. It had to be Crimea. Ignion was too big, too powerful, Dane would have lost. Crimea, however, is a country known more for its scholarship than its military strength. Dane probably felt that a surprise invasion would let them win, while taking minimal casualties themselves, and they were right. Crimea was easy prey. Oh my goodness, I pressed A once and it went through like three things. Dane's power would increase and strife and discord would spread across the land, eventually reaching the lost medallion. You believe King Dane's goal is to awaken the Dark God after all. At the very least, it is one of his ambitions, there can be no mistaking that. Which means that our plan to attack him at the capital fits right into his strategy, doesn't it? It's the trigger he means to break the Dark God's bonds. If, even if that's true, we can't stop now. War is going too far for that. We have to smash Dayan to end its menace once and for all, and bury every one of them and finish it. Hmm, agreed. 
The only plan that makes any sense. Only we had the medallion with us. What is it, Rayson? Is there a way to avoid all of this? We, that is, the descendants of Lebrin, we have a gift. With the power of the slumber Galder, we have the ability to suppress the chaotic energies of the Dark God and the medallion. Though even if a massive battle occurred, if it were in my possession, I might be able to... I'm so sorry, because of my carelessness that the medallion was lost in the first place. Mist, I told you that wasn't your fault, didn't I? But... You were never careless, Mist, I know. You kept the medallion next to you at all times. You told me it was a keepsake of your mother's. You always, always took good care of it, didn't you? That's why it's not your fault, so please don't punish yourself anymore, alright? Into Silencia. Yeah, you're going for round two, Legend? Yo, good luck, man. I'm counting on you. You can do this. Let me know how it goes. He's right. And besides, a Dark God could be released no matter where the medallion is. So it's nothing to worry about. Thank you, Renal. Alright. It's about time for you to hear what I have to say. Grayson. Yes? I'm sorry. Huh? For what? Lynn's been kidnapped. and may have been by Dayan's hands. That can't be. Why would Lena be taken? The release? Galder can only be sung by the girl Altina, right? Ashnard doesn't know that. Oh no. What a mess. Nothing can ever be clear and simple, can it? You know, Tenth Doctor is saying, uh, 24 hours? Or less than 24 hours, the rando? Yes, we will be doing the randomizer tomorrow. 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Finished with all that extra work you had this week? Yo, glad to hear it. In the valley amidst the Mar Marhat's range, Ike and, Ike and company are reunited with King Kanegas Galia. King Debaran of Phoenicius also arrives and brings with him a disturbing tale. Um, there's no time to waste the final showdown with Ashnard is coming. Between the forces King Kanegas grants them before returning home and the soldiers King Debaran brings. The Crimean army possesses three times the fighting power that it did when it left Begnion. Even so, the Dayan forces encamped in the capital are strong, rested, and comparable in number. In addition, the road to the final confrontation is blocked by two formidable obstacles, Fort Pinel and Nado's, Nado's castle. How these two tests are faced will mightily affect the course of the war. Um, we're all using my Discord for voice chat. Um, if y'all want to, I'm down. Um, I know King Hippo doesn't like Discord, so he probably probably will not join. And then I don't know if, uh, Grand Magusta, and I don't know how many people have that stuff sorted. I see. The Crimean Galia finally joined forces, have they? Half-breeds and humans fighting side by side. How sweet. In addition, it seems the incident, Aaron Princess has brought more Phoenicians to the struggle as well. Oh, the Hawk King is getting involved, eh? Which means that the Crimean army strength of arms is all particular tomorrow and growing pain. Of course, this pathetic, ragged band is still no match for our superior leadership and skill. Ha ha ha! Things are getting interesting, are they not? But I am still unsatisfied. Divide our army into two battalions, and send one to meet the Crimeans. And who will be in charge of that battalion? Bertram. Bertram. Does that bother you? Well, perhaps I should leave it to you and see what happens. <laughs> you believe I would betray you? I believe your heart has considered it. Surely, yes. They will divide our forces and see that they march to meet Crimea under Bertram's command. Is this satisfactory? I leave it to you, good sir knight. One other thing, your majesty. In my absence, did you order the death of Anna? 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 Oh yes, sir. I've forgotten about that. I lost all interest in her when she failed to hold Dane's capital, you know? No use for failure. Yes, yes, I remember it now. I ordered General Petrine to take care of her. Ha! Ah, another failure under my command. Well, Katrina, if the task was beyond her, capturing Inner would be enough. I see. What do you ask? According to one of General Katrina's men, they have indeed captured Inner. But with the General's death, they're unsure what to do with her. <laughs> that was one of Katrina's better qualities. She always did follow orders. Well, what do you intend to do? 
I wish to receive your instruction. You still wish to see her killed? Have you changed your mind? Mm. Do as you will. I care not. However, do not bring her into my presence. When that one is near, Rajoin seems to grow restless. As you wish. Um, Tinsdoctor says, I mean, you're not new to Rando, but Key Sanity is another story. Yeah, Tenth Doctor, no, I did not get any practice in. Um, I was unsure what Key Sanity was. I had a vague idea. Um, I did watch, um, the last GDQ that did Key Sanity, I believe. Or no, no, they didn't do Key Sanity. They did a, ra they did a normal Rando. I watched that. And then I also, after that, watched a Key Sanity race on Speed Gaming. And when I saw... What you have to do for Key Sanity. <laughs> I realize that it is the stupidest, dumbest, most ridiculous thing ever in the entire world. And I am only doing it because I didn't realize how ridiculous it was and I already agreed to it. But let the record show I think Key Sanity is dumb. I think I'm going to have a terrible time playing through it with the fact that I have not practiced it in so long. I think it is... Very, very stupid. Key Sanity, yes, I agree, Pyro. The name is very fitting. And uh, Blackham says he has a question. What's up, Blackham? Everyone seems to be here. Go ahead, Soren. You can begin now. Very well. Please look at this map. The current position of our army is here in the Marhat Range. Between us and the capital, there are two large outposts of enemy troops. Fort Pinnell and Nader's Castle. Both holds were built to guardian our fair land, but now Dayan rules them both and knows of us. Ration said they could hold out a year. Say what you will of Dayan and her foul plans, one must admire her skill in things of war. Come now, Bastion, why would you praise our foe? I do not speak the mean of it, good sir. The truth is harsh, lies would be worse still. Will you two please shut up, please? Pinel and Nados are fairly close to one another. Doubt they would expect us to attack both at once, but that seems to be a waste of our strength, and we don't want to get ambushed from the rear while attacking. We cannot divide our army, but we could send a small force to attack the base with weaker defenses and keep it occupied. At the same time, the main army can focus the, on the other one and conquer it. <laughs> Just resign yourself to nearly 100% in the seed and things will go better? Well, like... I pretty much already do that in like a normal randomizer because like I don't know the games that well. I pretty much try to like 100% them, but I will admit like I don't remember Turtle Rock very well. So like if I have to do all of Turtle Rock, I'll be pretty sad about that. I will whinge for days, but uh, hopefully I will have to do Turtle Rock. <laughs> Let's hope. Let's hold out hope. I see. So which one has more soldiers? That will be Fort Pinnell. Very well. And the main army will lead an assault on Fort Pinnell. Meanwhile, I'll take my army and a unit or so of Galleons and set out for Castle Nados. We'll launch an attack, and when they come out to meet us, we'll retreat. We'll attack again. We'll keep them busy. That should give us the time we need. We'll take care of our front by day's end. Let's go capture a fort. Settle them. In fact, you think no, no key sanity at this point would make the game too easy? I mean, that's, uh... Hmm. Silly. Um, it's pretty much the exact same thing. You're still just opening up a bunch of chests. Literally, the difference between key sanity and a normal randomizer is... You go to multiple dungeons back and forth! Yay! Like, obviously, the better your uh, knowledge of the game, the less you'll have to travel back and forth. But, with key sanity, literally the way it works, you will have to travel back and forth between dungeons. It's dumb, and it's stupid, and it's a waste of time, and it's slow. It's awful, and I don't like it. I do not. Leech can quick swap the items with LNR. Can do that? Oh, it's something they added to Key Sanity? Oh, so it's Key Sanity specific. Oh, okay. Oh. We'll, we'll see, man. We'll see. Alright, so... Old X. That is a dumb X. That's the magic one, right? Yeah, dumb. Um, she's gonna need another weapon. Should I give her? At the very least, yeah, and that flame lance is also useless. Yeah, let's just buy some stuff. Yeah, she's gonna need a javelin. Gonna need a silver lance. Thank you. 
and you're doing fine. Sorry. Um, pretty good on weapons for the most part. Wait, get rid of that Lagoo Slayer. Can't do anything with that. Do I have any good lances in here? No, I don't. Okay. Well, with that being the case, <laughs> one Silver Lance, please. Thank you. And yeah, that should be as good there. For an experience. Oh, who needs experience? I could just give it to Jill. I mean, she's... yeah. Better to give her the XP, because it's harder for her to get levels. I mean, she already has max strength. You really need higher stats? Yeah, who needs higher stats the most? I mean, I accept top speed. Um, you have more to miss. <laughs> um, no, that's a waste of my time. Void? Let's give it to Void. Nope, I lied. I want to give it to Ilyana or Sorin. It's going to be Ilyana. Oh, it's a optional thing. Got you, got you. That makes sense. Random Goose says item quick swap is disabled in races, so there's no need for him to use it for practice. Yeah. Akim says, since you destroyed Sonic Adventure 2, uh, race for money, are you interested in co-oping a way out? Co-oping? That's a multiplayer game? And yeah, I'm, it is what it is, Glockham, man. Like, it was $3 in A rank. I got 7 A ranks in 30 minutes for $21. I made $21 in 30 minutes, dude. I'm not gonna say no to that. I'm just not. That was way too good a deal. I could not say no. You should be able to understand. Um... Oh, it's co-op only? Huh. Am I thinking of a different game, then? What's a way out? I thought it was that game with the guy that's in, like, the pot and has, like, the weird, like, hammer thing and he uses that to move around. I've never seen multiple people play that. Or is that called something else? What's a way out? <laughs> You'll post about it later in Discord? Okay. What about a uh, Shadow Story? I mean, I could do that, but again, like, Black and Man, I'm swamped. I'm swamped on games now. Like, I already agreed to do the stupid SNES Olympics thing and the stupid Zelda randomizer. So I'm gonna do the Zelda randomizer. I'm gonna finish with the Olympics, and then I'm I'm gonna like you know take a little a little break from games that I'm agreeing to just randomly do with people. It's a lot of fun, but like I have a lot of things I need to do. Um, supports. I don't really need to do anything there. General, may I have a moment of your time? Yes, what is it? I'd like your advice on something, sir. Let's say I was faced with an undefeatable enemy. In that case, what should I do as the weaker fighter? Should I try to avoid slowing down other better fighters in retreat? Do I sacrifice myself and try to at least land a single blow on the opponent? If it's an enemy general or just someone that's far too strong for you, there's no need to get yourself killed. Study the enemy? Oh my goodness, I don't know what my A presses are giving me like double A presses and skipping dialogue, but whatever. You can learn to do that and determine how best to engage your opponent. These are the very core of combat fundamentals, aren't they? Oh, I'm a danged fool! It could be. I think all my trouble started because I wasn't paying enough attention to the basics. You've given me something to think about, and some hope too. Thank you, sir. The smartest general ever. Huh? what a brave little fella. Are you leaving now? Yep. We're going to do some reconnaissance and tease those stains a bit. Good luck. Ha! Ah, you don't need luck when you're as tough as me. So barring about... Grayson? No. I truly am sorry. The ant's kidnapping is completely my fault. It's not your fault. Please don't apologize. I know Leanne is alive. These battlefields are filled with chaotic energy. I can still sense her. It's faint, but I know it's Leanne. Which is all the more reason for us to hurry. There may be other ways to finish this, but crushing Dane is the surest. Agreed. Grayson, is this a mysterious power that you use to sense Leanne, something only herons possess? 
Not something any of the Hawk Clan has, that is certainly. It's not true, Tabarn. Power may differ in potency between us, but all Lagoos possess it in some degree. Ah, so it's just that my sense isn't developed, <laughs> is that it? The power is distributed something like this. Among the bird tribes, it's very strong in the Heron Clan. Among the beast tribes, but it's most developed in the Cat Clan, though not as strongly as in the Herons. As for the Dragon Tribes, it's said they may be equal to or even surpass the strength of the Herons. Even though I know that all Lagoos were not alike, there are even more differences than I had imagined. Your eyes should have told you that. Once we change, we don't look alike, do we? Good point. Enough pleasantries. It's time for me and my men to take wing. Right, see you later then. The barn, may the fortunes of war be with you. And you as well. Don't try anything too dangerous. Grayson? My apologies, Ike. Though I knew this was coming, it's still difficult. Don't apologize. You've nothing left to prove to me. Ah. Well, that works. Guess we're good on that front. Hot. Uh, the pot hammer thing is getting over it? Oh, okay. So they have similar names. Uh, Rackup says, heck, your workload is too strong with that variety doc. I know, right? Have you considered just kind of like having weeks where you don't have to get pulled around by people? I mean, I could do that. I could do, like, I mean, because, like, here's how it is, Glackum. Like, um, there's, there's three types of games, right? You have, um, uh, the game that I want to play, and that's just Pokemon Red. Two, we have the variety list. And then three, we have games that I just agree to play with people for funsies, which is, like, the SNES Olympics right now, which is... Zelda, Super Mario World, Mega Man X, uh, Kirby Superstar Saga, and Earthbound. I'm going to play those five games. I agreed to do that. So I will play those five games uh, very soon. But yeah, it's just, it's tough. It's like literally I could just always do what I want to do, man. And just, you know, throw things that I said I would do behind me. But I think that's bad practice. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. My Lord Ike. Princess Alencia, huh? Oh, she has battle armor. And a Pegasus. What's going on? Why are you dressed like that? I thought to join you on the battle lines. Is that a Pegasus? Where did you get that? It belonged to my great-grandmother. I'm a bit nervous about riding him, but I'm going to try nevertheless. I appreciate your desire, but your retainers will never allow it, will they? As for that... Did you agree to this, Joffrey? No, personally, I'm against it. She is the princess, and it is her wish. I can do nothing. The princess's great-grandmother was a Begnion Pegnesis knight, of some were known before marrying into House Crimea. Princess Silentia herself is skilled at both riding and swordsmanship. As a child, she was granted permission to train in case the need for her to fight ever arose. Behold the Pegasus in uniform. All treasures of our house Crimea fair. We did fear much... We would never see a chance to use them in their proper steed. Oh, muse of fire, not find the words. Behold a light that dares to shame the sun. A princess clad in raiments fair and fine gives courage, love, and vigor to our cause. I'm surprised you were able to hide armor and a flying horse from the Dayan army. Now, Glackham says, the problem is you have so many incentives that people donated for you can't just leave them there, but that's just too many. The dock is neat, but <laughs> you're not sure it's healthy. Well, again, Blackham, I'm not sure if you noticed, but on the right side of my dock, I put plenty of defenses there. One, I'm not, you know, guaranteed to play any of the games just because they have the highest votes. I might just play a game because I want to. It could have, like, one vote. And I'll be like, I want to play that. Like, say it's Celeste, right? I want to play Celeste and it has only one vote. I'll play it because I want to. And then two, I'm not guaranteed to play literally anything on the list. I mean, I have 100% completion for all the things that I've done since I put up the list, but it's not guaranteed. I put not guaranteed there like 15 times. I'll do whatever I, you know, want to do. Um, so far, it seems to be working out really well. I'm okay with how it is. But also, I'm streaming on a Friday, which I don't normally do, but I want to try to beat this game. Ahem. Princess Rini foresaw a time when the princess would need them and bade us convey them from the palace. Prince Rinning's thoughts were always of the princess, even as his life abandoned him. Be true to your heart, live life as it dictates. Those were his final words to her. My lord uncle was always the one person who understood me best. Even though I'm dressed like this, 
I have no experience and do not expect to fight as well as the rest of you. But this constant waiting behind and doing nothing it sets my heart beating with such unease, I fear it may burst. Even if I cannot fight, I could use a staff to heal the wounded. I could save just one soldier, it means so much to me. Please, my Lord Ike, I promise to obey orders and stay out of harm's way as best I can. Lord Ike, you will take responsibility and guard the princess. It is her heartfelt wish. It is not something that I can allow or disallow. He is my employer. This is what the princess wants. All I can do is comply. Be careful, will you? Thank you so much. Let us go forth like sunlight to the dawn. Lencia fights, and Cremia wins the day. Well, that's interesting. I didn't see that development. Any votes not added? No, I don't think anyone's donated uh, today, so we're all good on that. Um, let's see, Tinsocker saying, if nothing else, the doc helps keep track of all these incentives. Yes, I appreciate that, because there was one time, man, because, like, you know, people have been donating, like, Glackum would donate for, like, Rayman. I pushed that off for, like, five years. I didn't mean to. I just kind of forgot about it. Pyro donated for Threads of Fate. I pushed that off for five years, not on purpose. I forgot about it. But now that I have a handy-dandy list, I can't forget. It's right there. Uh, Simba saying, Alentia was such a wasted opportunity in this game. She comes way too late. Game and under level to really do anything with. Yeah, that's a shame. And uh, Glackham says, I mean, I know the doc rules, but it's still a lot of funny business to you. But hey, if it's working out, then no point in arguing. Yeah, I think it's it's working out really well for me. Like, I'm really happy with it. Are saying, seriously, she's a flying healer. <laughs> what more do you need besides to show up on the battlefield much sooner? Yeah. And Snake saying, uh, what would you guys do if your baby was born with green hair? Um, if I had a baby and it had green hair, first off, I'd be like, that's cool. Because, you know, a lot of babies, they come out, they have no hair. So it's like, cool, you know, I know this child's going to have a lot of hair. Two, okay, green, um, I know they're going to have some troubles with that in school. But, you know, I'll just explain that to the teachers. And, yeah, she's going to get, she or he, uh, are going to be teased for their hair. But, you know, it happens. Kids tease people over everything. It is what it is. Ultimately, Vinx is the only one who decides what to do. That is correct. Ike, there are more enemy soldiers than we expected. As from what I can see now, there are double our numbers. We must assume that the fort houses many more troops. It may prove to be a long battle. Even if they have 20 times our numbers, we must overcome them. In this war, there can be no retreat. Oh, jeez, man. Oh boy, what are we actually going against over here? Got some, some sword masters, some lagoos, feral lagoos. Got some knights with the knight killer. Got a little lagoos bow. Um, steel bow. Got some wooden riders. Oh my, with the silver lance. Brave sword. Oh jeez. Are we gonna be a bit more careful? Oh, seize? Seize is all I gotta do. Yeah, I'm, I'm down for that. That'll be easy. Again, you know, I would love to get all the experience from everyone, but more important than that, I want to try to beat this game tonight, so that's the goal. General Bertram, the Crimean army has risen to the base. Order, sir. For order, sir? General, um, how shall we make answer? In the ground. So, blood. Make a graveyard. This place. Bury them all. Yes, sir! Here, <laughs> do you see that guy's helmet? It's some sort of, like, critter. Soren, do you have any information on the enemy general? Our intelligence reports say the commander of this army is Bertram, one of Dayan's four riders. One of the four riders? Who is on par with that woman we fought earlier, General Katrine? It's not necessarily so. The name Four Riders is given to the four persons of highest ability among the King's advisors. So the members can change, is that it? Where are the current Four Riders? First, there was General Katrine, whom we defeated at Riven Bridge. Then, the man we face today, General Bertram. Next is General Bryce, who served the previous King. And finally, the enigmatic General known as the Black Knight. Those are the four. This is the same Black Knight who murdered Commander Grail? Of that, there appears to be little doubt. Hello, Soren. If any more in information on General Bertram, I know not where he hails from. He appeared after the fall of Kyrmia, 
and has quickly gained Ashnard's favor. He is a man of no mean ability. Like the Black Knight, he always wears his armor and never shows his face unhelmed. Some say he's not even in his armor, but that it's inhabited by an ancient specter or a demonic creature. It's all just superstition and rumor designed to heighten fear of the man. It's not important. Once we cross swords, we'll know the truth. Then we can discover for ourselves if he's just a loudmouthed braggart or truly a monster. As long as our blades can wound him, I care not either way. Let's go. You know, let's see, uh, Snake was- oh yeah, I already read that. Um, I was saying if my baby had green hair, I'd do a DNA test for anime blood. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. And, uh, Super saying, yo, Vinks, do you got a Discord? Yes, I do have a Discord. I will put the link in chat. Yo, Discord a go go, if I can spell. Yeah, there it is. And then, um, Simba saying, second of the four riders, let's get it. Yeah, we're getting in there, man. We're getting in there. Oh, Joffrey? Oh, whoops. I didn't actually want to, like, start with him or anything. And yeah, look. Twernio. Twar. Twarnio? Twaro. Twaronio. Twar. The Twar is here. I didn't want him here. Um, do I still have? Yeah, I still have the full guard. Alright, so here's the plan, right? It's gonna be easy plan. He's gonna rescue Ike. And she going to go all the way over. Actually. She's gonna just go to the boss and everything will work out. I'm sure her and I can do everything that needs to be done. No worries. Wait, where is it at exactly? It's all the way up here to the left. Man, that's a distance! That is so far! It's gonna take forever. Easy plan, Marcia does all the work. And yeah, nah, Marcia doesn't have her uh, full guard on, I gave it to Jill. I wanna try to give Jill the levels. I'll have Marcia stay back here and help out the team. Jill, Jill's pretty good as well. Like, Marcia is probably the best, but... Nah, nah, nah. Oh, yeah, she has a sword and everything. Valencia's Royal Crimean Sword allows her to strike twice each per turn. Wow! Pretty cool, and she's level 1? Yeah, Princess Crimea, so... Okay, okay. Okay, I see you. What's your defense? 10? Not very high, guy. Oh, hey, Har! How are you doing, man? There we go. What? <laughs> no, just wait. Alright, yeah, I'll let them come into me. I fear them not. Oh, I should create more space between them and the weaker units, though. Always forget to do that. It does not pan out well for me, usually. <laughs> nice attack, buddy! Yep, you got me. Nice brave sword. Unfortunate, Jill's not the fastest unit in the world. All right, yeah, let's let's create more distance. Yes. Should have just turned off all the units, but I didn't think of that at the time. I didn't think of it. You just body him because you can. Oh, whoops! I'm attacking the further away one. Ah. Uh. That's yeah, just a normal javelin, only does so much damage. That's fine though. Oh, Volk's here. Go stay hydrated by you, right? I forgot. He's not a normal guy. That dude's got a bow equipped. Ow, dude. And a miss. Oh, jeez. He's got a bow, too. 
That's fine, they're moving into me, we'll just spread out, destroy them. Didn't last too long. Yeah, we want to beat this game today, man. That's the plan. Beat the game today. She, these units are getting higher and higher speed. Ow! Jeez, that hurts. Level up. Not just magic, please. Oh, strength, speed, and res. There we go. I tell you the number of times I've seen like just magic go up. That stuff makes me so salty. Yo, that's some damage. <laughs> no damage. Oh, I missed. No damage again. Good fight. Yeah, I kind of got that full guard on. Don't mind me. I don't know. This is looking a bit more precarious than it did a little bit ago. These units are strong. Man, there's a lot of them. We're not kidding when they said they outnumbered me. Yeah, she just does not have the speed. Oh, she's completely surrounded. Oh, she can't move! Get a crit! Nope, no crits. Gosh darn it, man. I just had to be completely in the way, huh? But yeah, pull out the red lance. You away with these guys. Now who has the highest attack? You? Okay. Yeah, I can attack and move. As for us, Peesh. You don't have another weapon, do you? Oh, you do. Brave lance. I don't like this exchange too much. Maybe swap that around, yeah? Yeah, you beat up this guy, would you? Ow. Not quite doing the job, sir. Not quite doing the job. Definitely will finish it. Ooh, a silver sword. Uh... <laughs> bye! Yeah, I got a Brave Axe. <laughs> Good battle. Oh, I should have had someone else do that combat. Oh well. Ooh, I'm a Goose Axe. Oh, how do you do against magic, my friends? Not good enough. <laughs> I see, I see. Night! Mm, man, <laughs> Oyan is ridiculously strong, dude. Great character. And uh, let's go ahead and use her a second time, yes? I mean, why only once when we can be attacking with Oyana twice? Heal bow, huh? How's that doing melee range? That's a beautiful thing about mages. It's like you can attack people from range and they can't do anything about it. And also attack archers in melee range. Nothing they can do about it. Then say you're fighting another magic person, usually your res is so high that, like, they can't do anything to you. Alright, we're looking a little bit better over here. I'm more worried about Jill, I don't know, man. I don't know, she took a bit of damage. Hey, you can heal too, can't you? We needed health of... Uh, somebody. Who doesn't have max HP? Ah, boy. There you go, buddy! 
Keep your HP up and your spirit high. Let's see, they're all good. You moved already. Let's see what they got for the next turn. Ow. Yeah, she just doesn't have the speed, man. Oh, geez, 10 damage on that guy. Crit him, though. And now, uh, saying what you said is true up to a point. Oh, there we go. There's some extra speed, HP, skill, luck, res. Nice. Uh, where the enemy hits you with a long range leap plus a <laughs> swift kill. Yo, I haven't seen any of these sleeps in this chapter. Yeah, I've only seen sleep in one chapter so far. Gosh darn healers. As if this isn't, you know, troublesome enough. At least the archers can't do any damage to me. You mind? I missed? Are you serious? My skill's so high and I'm gonna miss. Ow! Okay, I have 4 HP. That's a little bit of a problem. Ooh, is he gonna kill me? Yeah, I died. Hmm, I really thought Jill was gonna be strong enough, man. I really did. Well, let's get that reset in there, man. Let's get that reset. Rest in peace. Father, oh, I'm proud to have been your daughter. Gosh darn it, man. Yeah, now I underestimated the strength of the units in this chapter. Like, Jill's been able to, like, just destroy everything most of the time, but that was not today. Yeah, Marcia, she has a defense of 24. Jill has a defense of 23, so it's like they're right next to each other. It's not that I under or overestimated Jill's capabilities. So much as just the enemies in this chapter, my goodness. <laughs> Their stats are so high. Still though, let's see if I can speed this up a bit, yeah. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Oh no. That, that looks good. Alright. Instead of going on the super <laughs> solo mission, I guess we'll have to take be a bit more careful this time. Assuming you're stronger than all the enemies can't carry <laughs> until the big baddie. Uh, it worked for quite a few chapters. The game eventually caught up to me. The game had to catch up eventually. I've just been naturally stronger than everything for a while now. Didn't last forever. Wait, okay, yeah, let's save first. Save first. And then go in. But yeah, give me one second, I'll be right back again. Alright, so I have returned. Yo, I, I get it now, man. I get why they changed the difficulty for this game from, uh... What would you call it? Like, apparently in, uh, Japan? 
This difficulty was the original, like, uh, easy difficulty. But then when it came over here to the US, it became the normal difficulty, and there is no easy option. Because, yeah, nah, this, this normal, or this easy, whatever you want to call it, is so much harder than normal was in Fire Emblem 7. Like, Fire Emblem 7, dude, I had about, like, three units that I massively overleveled. And I beat every single section of the game after that just by pushing those three units forward. And I couldn't lose! Like, literally nothing could touch me. But yeah, normal in this game, like, I have these characters that have, like, you know, they're reaching their maximum stats, and... I don't just body the game for free. So, it's definitely harder. It's a lot harder. Which is fair, you know? I'm not- I don't have anything against that. I just think people should keep that in mind. When they talk about this being easy or hard or whatever. Yeah, I was... Because of uh, what people had told me, I was of the idea that, you know, I wouldn't have too much trouble playing this game. Like, what? This is the easy? You know, I've played normal in all the other ones, so... This is the easy. This is gonna be, well, easy. That is not the case! No siree, man. Nope, nope, and more nopes. But yeah, let me go ahead and trade with uh, her. Give her back the full guard. I have to make sure I equip that too, though. It is harder than some of the earlier games? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I don't, I don't know what the difficulty is of like Fire Emblem 1 through 6 are. I haven't played any of those. I played two for like a little bit because I heard it was different. So I tried it out on the uh, NES. But like... <laughs> that game, man! Uh, it was so boring. Like, it started off really, really easy and there weren't a lot of interesting choices to make. But I just kind of stopped playing it. But yeah. Seven and eight I actually played all the way through. And yeah, I didn't find eight to be any harder than seven. And yeah, 9 so far. I didn't think it was harder at first, but I was definitely failing in areas where I wouldn't normally fail. But now, like, that I've gotten to this point, without a doubt, this game, the difficulty scaling... Not one for one, it's really not. Forcing you to use some common sense in strategy is kind of the point. Oh yeah, I have nothing against that. Nothing against that. I think that's a good idea. You know, I think on a normal difficulty, you shouldn't be able to have like three OP units and just win the game without strategizing at all. You know, that kind of takes the whole point out of the strategy. That's what an easy mode is for. Which again is why I was so confused, because I thought I was playing easy mode. Because, like, that's what they call it in Japan. This is the easy mode. So I was like, okay, it's going to be easy. I can just use my OP units and push through the whole game. Because I could do that in normal on Fire Emblem 7, but... Apparently that is not the case. No siree. Game's way harder. Yeah, let's go ahead and let them push into me. We'll defend those pushes. Oh! Ow, I forgot how low Titania's stats are. He might be dead. Yeah, she might be a paladin, but yeah, her stats are so low. Ooh. Wait, what? <laughs> what was that? Super flashy. Nine damage. Yeah, that might be it for Titania. I mean, I'll still wait to see it before I hit reset. Good night, mercenary. Yeah, that's her. <laughs> Gosh darn it, man. I forgot how weak she is. She's been strong for like so long. But like, she started like dipping. In like the past, I'd say like four or five chapters, he's just not really comparable. Her stats are so low. So low. 
battery. Let's try that again. Maybe I should take Titania off? Might be better. Either way, let's not have her in, a, in the front again, yeah? This rate today will be 4 or 5 a.m.? No, hopefully not, then. We'll see. Just depends how hard this chapter really is in the preceding chapters. Hoping I could just skip my way through all of this, but it doesn't look like that's gonna be an option. This game is just dreadfully long, I tell you. Yeah, I'm treating Titania like she's one of my paper-thin units now. Feels bad, man. Yeah, what is her defense rating, man? Apparently garbage. I mean, I know Void's defense isn't very high, but he has a lot of HP. He has really good speed, too. Rude. Now you know that guy's got strength if he does 5 damage to Marcia. <laughs> Good job, Oscar. Hitting for that 12. Oh, strong. Ah, yeah, strength defense res, I'll take it. They have so many units, dude. So oh, many units. Alright, that's fine. Oh, that guy's going nighty night. No, no, no. Nice try. We need a little bit more, uh... In the stat department, you want to hit me, buddy. I have so much HP. I'll do Soren. There we go. Gotta finish the job, man. Oh, you are an archer. Say uh, no to that. How about that? None of that archery business. None of them shenanigans. Alright, come on down. <laughs> Oscar, please, I swear your stats are better. Than how you perform. Oh, there we go. Nephany will show Oscar how he's supposed to play the game. Ow. Uh, nice swing. Pretty sure you can't deal damage to me, but I appreciate the effort. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's right. That's why Jill's speed was low. It was because she was uh, rescuing Ike. I forgot. A tree <laughs> greater than Oscar. Yeah, man. I figured his stats would be higher, but like, now nah, we leveled him up all the way to twenty. Got the like natural class change. And then level him up to 9, but his stat growth is just abysmal. I don't know if I was, like, really unlucky. But yeah, his stats just aren't the best. They're really, really not. Yeah, it's what it is.
These things happen, good people. Oh boy, the power of soul! 14 damage! Aha! Now what will you do? There we go. I'm gonna deal this damage. Thank you, Oyana. Um, I don't need the silver sword. Uh, do away with that. And now Legend saying I have the worst luck with crit. Short Sky crit you twice from full? Oh no, dude. Cause yeah, like at 31 HP, uh, when he crits you, he can do what? He can do like 15, 16 damage? But yeah, if he hits you twice with quick attack, quick attack crits. Yeah, I don't think tackle does that much, I think. I think tackle does like 14 on crit? I don't remember. Either way, that's very bad luck, my friends. Very bad luck. Oh, 17? Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel for you. Okay, well, quick attack, please. Oh, level up! <laughs> level 20! HP res. 17 all on quick attack, enough to kill a tackle. Yeah, if tackle crits or he has any tail whips. Yeah, tackle normally does like 10 damage, I think. Something around that value. It doesn't normally do like 14, not without the tail whips. Um. Ah, jeesh. I'm scared, man. <laughs> I'm not liking how this is looking. Like, they really need reinforcements. <laughs> like, really? Really, guy? Yo, I could you help out a little bit? I'd really appreciate that. It'd be so swell. So swell, my man. Okay, brave sword. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Do 13 damage twice. That's not too good. What about the killing edge? Um, still at 13. I have 38% chance to crit. Let's go for it. There it is! Good job, Killing Edge. See, I can do, what is that? 28 damage twice? <laughs> yeah, I think that'll get the job done. I'm on Dayan's territory. Can you expect no reinforcements? This is Crimea! Thank you, Velian. This is Crimea. Yes, the Dayan army is here, but this belongs to Princess Alencia, and we're giving her back the throne. This is not Dayan territory. No, no, no. Don't... Velian, I, I don't understand. Why would you be a Dayan supporter, man? A Dayan sympathizer? Don't... Don't do that. No. This is Crimean land. We are returning it to the people that it rightfully belongs to. You go ahead and attack that guy, would you? Hmm. You weren't supposed to miss. That wasn't part of the plan. Oh, you're using a short spear. Can't see that. I'm using a silver axe! It's for you. Yo, love, love, what do you got going on, boy? Mmm. Every single step of magic. Every single one. Yeah, I can't, uh, can't complain about that. No sir. Ooh, crit on the first hit. Get bodied. I see you have 13 HP. I see you now have zero. Goodbye. Use bow? I don't need that. 
Alright, here come the Wyvern Riders. And yep, there's some paladins, it looks like. And the power of a bird! Kah! What are we doing, Mr. Bird? Um, we should move over to the left, man. Whatever happens, happens from there. Okay, yeah, let's move these units as far as they'll go and then surround them. <laughs> Gosh, Nate Times I remember when you were strong once. Good times. Nephany's not quite going to make that distance. Or Ilyana. It's fine. Uh, actually, that one right there. Yeah, thank you. We're good, right? Yeah, they're so far away. And they'll, they'll get here, but they're not here yet. Most of Ashnard's army is here? Yeah. That's why taking Dayan was so easy. They just kind of let us have it, really. Camera, please stop doing that. So they're right behind me. Oh, this go. I mean, you can't hit me. I can hit him all the damage twice. Let's do it. It was a good fight. <laughs> it was not a fair fight. It was a good fight. Worked out good for me. We level up. What do we got? Yo, magic skill speed luck res. Yeah, that's amazing. How do you feel? Do what is that? 24 damage? I can do it twice? As long as I don't miss. Looks like I had what? 80 accuracy? Oh, got the job done. I was worried there for a moment. Alright, how are we doing over here? This guy came right up to me. Couldn't hit him. Or I can. Wanna use that? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Body, Mr. Mercenary. We got a couple of kitty cats over here. Do these kitty cats know how this is gonna go down? Go HP, skill, luck? Eh. I mean, luck's cool. I, I like luck. Not that much faster than it. I'll put a dent in. Ow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to heal him. Oscar, can you finish the job? Let's see, I can do 14 damage. 84 accuracy. Worth the shot. The power of soul. But yeah, 13. I did it. How close are we to winning already? Eh, I failed the chapter, but this time I got it. We're taking things real slow. You know, slow is the speed you want to go when you want to beat the game tonight, and it's already approaching midnight. Yay. Yeah, no, nah, this, the difficulty curve of this game is in such a way where it's like, I can't really force my way through even with my most powerful units. It's just not an option. I have no choice but to just play it out. Be smart about it. Yeah, we're still on chapter 23 or whatever. Got a while to go, man. I really do. It makes me cry. Oh, whoops. I didn't heal. Boy, did I? No, I did, I did. Yo, you think I could beat this by 3 a.m.? Yo, if it's possible. We'll do it, man. If possible. Just gotta stop dying. <laughs> no more deaths. 
Oh my goodness, what's with all the mages? Yeesh. How do you feel about Elwyn? Eh, it'd be better. Yo, yeah, Nephany will finish the job. He's down. Take everything chat says and add two more hours and you're good? Yeah, that, that sounds like a good estimate. That's usually how it ends up going. Whatever chat says, plus two hours. Um, where is Oyana at? But yeah, she's all the way over here. Let's see, we don't have anyone close to us, do we? No, okay. I'm trying to keep it safe over here. We'll get bodied by Bertram at the end of the chapter? Eh, I think that's a pretty bad bet. I don't think there's any chance of that happening. I mean, maybe he has some sort of mechanic that I don't know about. Outside of that, I'll just walk up to him with, like, Jill or Marcia and we'll just body him. Pretty confident. Or Ike could do it. Ike is Ike is pretty good. Cause it depends on which weapon he's using. And we're making our way over, slowly but surely. I mean if they're not approaching me anymore, I might just start moving only my powerful units forward. We'll see. Sometimes we beat games in the morning. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, not what I want. Yeah, there's just so many red units, man. So many of them. Excuse me. Ah, oh, jeez, that took me out of nowhere. I will be right back. Alright, I am back. Yo, Sneezy no P, man. Alright, what do I need to do? Yeah, I was just moving over here. Trying to make sure everyone's still locked off, though, for the most part. Alright, yeah, we're fine. Okie dokie! Do it, man. gonna come forward and fight me, come fight me. Oh, you know, we got super far range spells and whatnot. Yeah, no, they're they're playing pretty passive now, so like I'll keep these units in the squad over here. And I'll have Marcia, Ike, and Jill move forward. I think that'll be fine. I think they can take care of themselves. Yeah, nice try. Ooh, Aether. I'll just heal for that one damage I was missing. Actually, let's not go all in then. Be right here. Right here. If 
That's dumb. Attacking me is just never a good option. Ah, uh, come on. I have no crits, no aether. I should have put Marcy on the top side. Oh no, it's magic! Oh my goodness, <laughs> so many units. They just don't stop, I swear. Alright. Oh, what? I can't reach him with- Oh, that's- that's not who I thought it was. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I can use this bolting though. Oh, there's nothing good to use it on. Never mind. Wait. Yeah, you just finish that guy off, would you? Night. E. Level 6, magic and res. You always need more magic. I swear, Soren, uh, he's falling behind. Little Oyana. Um, can't reach anything. How you feel about killing it? Oh, you, you uh, got bodied. Night. And, um, if I move all the way there, you can't reach. Ah, you can. There we go. And move those units there, then use the bird. Chant it up! Before we can get to take an additional turn. Alright, Nephany, she wants some XP. Oh, 3 HP. Oh, my friends. I have to ask you to vacate this whole living situation. Come by! Yeah, you got 4 HP. Yeah, Oscar, you go ahead and take that. No, we should have Void do it. Ah, Oscar. Which one has the higher defense? It's Oscar, right? Of course it is. Power of Soul! And, uh, let's see, Tent Doctor returns from finishing the work thing and has late night Taco Bell. <laughs> Yo, congrats, man. Happy for you. Or chill up there. He has the lowest defense up here. It's 17, 21, 20. Yeah. I'll be right here. Legend says in Verdian Forest, you got two encounters, fail the tail whip, and miss a tackle. <laughs> Yo, that is pretty unfortunate. And ow! That's the first time I've been hit by one of those spells and it hurt that bad. I have no res. Or is it gonna completely miss me? What chapter are we on? Uh, 23 or 24? Something like that. Oh, heart might die. Gosh darn it. Ooh, a miss, thank you. <laughs> Need that. That spell did a lot of damage. I'm not prepared to take that much. And yeah, nah, he's fine. Woo! Actually, that could have been him dead right there. That could have been it. Yeah, that bow. Not gonna get the job done. Okay, so this is uh, a little scary. 
<laughs> Legend says my constant complaint about RNG gets annoying. Don't hesitate hesitate to let you know now, man. It's all good. I've lived that same life. Speaking a language I understand. Yeah. Night soldier? I gotta get rid of all these paladins. They're my first priority. Not the top one. I think. The top priority should be Mr. Blizzard Man. Wait, what? Oh, okay, that was Elwyn. I was like, how does it have that many uses? Well, this guy's got Meteor as well. He's just not using it. Interesting. Yeah, what's your range? This Rune Sword. A magic sword that restores HP to the wielder in the amount of half the damage in so One, two. Has a spear as well. Okay. Well, one step at a time. We're gonna get rid of that sword user there. What can you do? Do 16. Alright. You. That'll teach ya. Let me start 26 earlier. Just wondering if you got to another one. Oh, oh, is this 26? Well then, I'm on 26. Now, I've been on this chapter for a while. So many units. Skipping it didn't really seem to be an option, like just moving my units around and whatnot. A little tough to do that. I can heal from all the way back here, can't I? Let's do that. There we go. You're looking a lot healthier, my friends. Let's go ahead and have uh, my mages move forward a bit. They're not. Oh, wait, actually. Get rid of the blizzard. See, I can do, what, 6 damage plus 21, 27 damage? Do I get to hit twice? Does it work like that? I'm about to find out. Oh. I did not count that correctly. He is defeated. Well, that works! Alright. The, um... Nah, that's probably not gonna work out too well. Yeah, I need to move you forward, my friend. There's a brave sword. Not the greatest of fights. Should move her to attack someone. I guess the furthest away unit? Let's do that. Let's see, I can do what? Um not quite 20 damage. 21? I can do 21 damage twice. Yeah, let's do that. The doctor says, also, I probably missed your response earlier because I got a call and had to leave. Are there any votes from tonight? Nope, no votes. You're all good on the vote. Um, okay, well, with that person out of the way, I'll move forward and attack with the power of the wind. Where am I? Aha! I will attack you. Elwent. Christ, at least. Yep, two times. Not quite all the damage I need to knock him out, but it's a start. I'm gonna finish him off, Boyd. I think you do. Ah, uh, not with that 70% hit chance. Oscar could do it, I think. Yep. And it'll heal off of it. <laughs> 7 HP. And rest in peace votes, yo. There can't be votes every day. Not surprised that the bonus stream, the day I don't normally stream on, will be the day without votes. Oh man, there's so many units. Sheesh. We gotta take them out though. The um, killing edge. That should do it. <laughs> Good night. Yeah, you got a spear, my friends. I specialize in defeating units with spears. Kind of my thing.
Another archer, huh? I feel like he won't uh, win this fight. Something to do with the fact that he, like, can't attack. This cat, so I gotta get rid of that. I can do. Oh, there's also this guy. He's got 38 HP still. I have a lot of units to attack with still. Alright, let's get rid of the cat first. <laughs> yep, one hit will do the trick. And level up, what do we got? Jill is HP, speed, and defense personified. We'll move right here. Power of the crane. <laughs> Yo, red dog with the host. Yo, thanks, man. Oh, he has a short axe. I did not notice. I was attacking him even though he had a ranged weapon. Whoopsie doopsies. Yo, what up, red dog? How are you doing, good sir? Can I hit him? Only so likely. Your movement, Mr. Guy. Alright, he's not gonna be hitting anything important. Just gotta take that guy out, that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. Not too likely to hit him. I am. 89? Pretty good. This one's 100, that's much better. I like those odds. Yo, know, you're good, Red Dog, just sleepy. Yo, know, get that sleep, man, it's good for you. Alright, Marcy is fine, Jill's fine. Boyd's fine, Ike's fine. You don't have a ranged attack, do you? No. Neither of them do. Yeah, he has his stuff, but I can't do too much about that. As long as everyone's at top HP, you know, that's that's kind of the thing we want. Yeah, you have super high res, so you'll be fine if you get attacked by a spell or whatever. Oh, how strong is this priest? Let's see. Not very. I'll take him out. Yeah, I don't need you doing anything suspicious. Is that everybody? You go ahead and wait. And with you, Boyd, you wait right there. Okay. The yeah, enemy doesn't have too many units left. Oh, snap! Wait, you get attacked from really far away? Ouchies. Okay, that wasn't ideal. Not ideal. Alright, you missed me, that's good. Yeah, these mages are just starting to hurt real bad. And yo, Lego Lane, same came from Red Dog Stream. Yo, nice to see you. How you doing? Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Yo, I'm just doing some casual fire on them. I know I got a timer underneath me. But yeah, no, this is uh, just trying to beat the game. I put the timer on just so I had a, you know, vague idea. Alright, so Marcy is gonna get rid of this stupid, stupid caster. No more of that. No, thank you. Back over here. Um, oh, Yana. Where's she at? If she can reach that other caster. Nah, it's too far away. How can he reach me over here? I guess... I guess it makes sense. Nah, I gotta do away with that. That meteor is ridiculous. Um, where's Rayson? Yeah, Rayson. Help her out, would you? You haven't played Fire Emblem in months. I <laughs> love it though. Follow you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yo. Red Eyes got the pretty cool people, man. Alright. Wait, nah. I'm not worried about his movement. It's the cats I'm worried about. Not moving to the cat's movement and let's body this guy. Let's see. Yeah, I, I should completely win this. Mm, I can only hit him once. Gosh darn it. 
did 28 damage. Oh, it's not enough. I mean, more than that. Now what do I do? Yeah, I just used racing just to move her that far, and I couldn't finish the job. Aw, oh, man. Well, he's not gonna hurt her too bad. Just focus on knocking these guys out and healing Joffrey. Um... The Joffrey, you move down here. I'll heal you. And good job, Ilyade. You didn't one-shot him yet. Get one job, man. One job. Very right, Nephany wants to get in on this. The... Oh, they're both just as viable. Oh. Pick up this guy. Peace. And then this guy up here. The sword. You want that one? Yeah, I'm supposed to be using fire. I keep forgetting. Yeah, he can't hit me. Oh, I'll do him. Oh boy, Lagoo's Lance. You know, I love those things. Alright, so... Forget the kitty cat. Kitty cat can't reach anyone. This guy. And hit them. That's fine. That's fine. Everybody's fine. No need to worry. No need. Okay, you just move here. Ike, you move over here. Might be fighting this guy. That'll end my turn. Alright, what's he gonna do? Ah, uh, Nephany. Miss. Yo, Nephany, I swear, she just dodges everything. Okay, there's the kitty cat. Oh, snap! More recruits. I was not expecting them. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, this looks good. Ah, oh, I missed! Come on, 83 accuracy. 83! Still miss. Well, at least his HP is low. Sorry guys, we can't have you joining the fight. No, no, no. I'll just do the damage you can, Sorn. Only got the proc though. I'll knock out this one further away. You can do 14 damage twice, not good enough. This should do it. Is my army made of slackers? <laughs> yeah, no right. Army made out of slackers can't get the job done. I wasn't expecting these paladins. Oh, I can't quite reach that. Um. Yeah, I'll just have to use Ike twice, I guess. Go, Ike! Use your power. Defeat the final paladin. Only you can do it. You're the only one close enough. But it's racing, got a level, what do we got? Those are stats. 